Hello, hello, welcome back, my name is Saban, and welcome to the Pumpkin Growth Chamber. Now, this is part of the Terratoba Day 17 Pumpkin Moon. I'm a little bit late, but if you haven't seen some of the other Terracorn members' creations, then make sure you check them out in the description, because they're absolutely awesome. And as always, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. So as the little mini clip showed, this is a research lab where we're doing experiments on the Pumpkin, and he's making him super size. Everybody's nightmare. So I wanted this to have a creepy, eerie vibe, but at the same time being quite colourful and detailed, just overall interesting. It's not quite an NPC house, although it has got one, so it technically is ish. So as always with these boss builds, let's have a little look at the Pumpkin in action, but in 1.4's master mode. So as you can see, that's a bit intense. Let's be thankful the pumpkin isn't actually this big. As you can see, it's taking shape now. So I actually used pumpkin for most of this, and then I used a frozen slime to do the extra detail, which makes it look like he's kind of stretching apart, breaking away a little bit like a zombie kind of flaking of the skin, exposing the flesh underneath. Then I use more pumpkin wall, coloured black, just make the eyes and teeth really pop. So before I show you the construction of the rest of the lab, I just wanted to show you a bit more of the Wave 15. Now have you guys actually for the pumpkin at Lua 15. I haven't even tried it, especially not in master mode. I don't think it'll last very long. So now we're constructing the rest of the growth laboratory and I wanted it to have a, a really industrial kind of vibe. And then you'll see later that I make it look completely overgrown. So it looks like all these potions and additives that have been pumped into the pumpkin has made everything grow all around it. And I kind of had the idea of this sort of regeneration chamber that you see in a lot of animation films. And so there's loads of pipes pumping around all these nutrients. We've got a lot of artificial light because this is a secret laboratory, so it had to be underground, so it was all hidden. And I'll do all this wiring to the actual pumpkin to make it look like we're monitoring its life status. And you'll see dotted around the laboratory, there'll be little computer panels to actually monitor all this stuff. So that's enough of the time, lads. Now I'll show you the main build. So here we are, the finished build. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you have any suggestions, then please leave them down in the comment section because I love to hear your ideas. It's always really awesome. So onto the build. So the entrance is very much just a industrial kind of overgrown kind of entrance and you might notice there's a little vat of water up here which there's a pipe coming out that's going out now i really love doing these little effects where you use mud and then you put the jungle seeds on there and then you hammer them down and it kind of just looks like a little bit of moss growing on top of the surface and the exact same idea when you're putting vines around the build as well because they will grow down from the jungle seeds so here's one of the computer screens and i used the confetti wall which is painted and it kind of looks like static on a computer screen and there's just a rope which divides the two little panels there's a little wire that's going in that's monitoring the water in this chamber so a little shout out to maxwell the guide he's currently supplying us nutrients in this little pod up here for the main pumpkin chamber and he's just sort of doing that by marinating in this water uh, which is absolutely lovely um it's one way to uh kill the guide don't tell him that though um <laughs> And moving on, we've got our little airlock chamber, which allows us to actually get into the main thing, which I've used little pumps. So it's actually fully functional. So when it goes in, it actually pumps away all the water so it doesn't leak out into the other area. So when you go in, pump it away. When it stops blinking, it can go out. And then there's just a little grill, which will 
funnel it away if it gets a bit too crazy. So here we are in the main part of the chamber, which looks all overgrown and all sort of eerie and creepy I think and I love the sort of the vines and how it looks overgrown there and you've got the little pumps there which will use for the airlocks and then as you go down you've got the sort of glowing eyes from the pump king which looks pretty creepy I think I think it does the job quite well and the water kind of makes it look quite murky which I loved the sort of the uh, sort of the overall look of this once it's all sort of filled out with water. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. And then exit in it out onto this side. You've got another computer screen which is just sort of monitoring again. And you'll see up here, which I'll show a little bit of the pipe work. You've got all this, all the overgrown and greenery as well. As you can see, there's more to this laboratory. Now, if you've got any suggestions as to what this next section could be, then write in the comment section because I would love to hear your ideas and also if I do use your idea then I will shout you out as well. So there's my finished build. I hope you guys liked it. If you did then please leave a like because it really helps me out and the channel and I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more then please press that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can catch my next video. But I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.